Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. When it comes to productivity, Google Assistant powered by artificial intelligence has lots of tools at your fingertips to help you. However, it is not possible to remember all those tools all the time. On this channel, I provide videos to help you with those tools. Today, in this video, I'll talk about how to use Google Assistant to remember things. This is like a note taking, so you're just ta asking Google Assistant to take a note or to remember, and then when you need it, Google Assistant will tell you what you told Google Assistant to remember. So you can just uh, simply ask Google Assistant, remember this, and then it will ask you what to remember, and then you can, you know, that will flow the conversation. So for example, Okay, Google. Remember this. Sure. Just say something like, remember the door code is 4,453, and then ask, what is the door code? Remember my passport number, 1234. Okay, I'll remember that you said, my passport number, 1234. Okay, so once you told Google Assistant uh, what to remember, then uh, when you need what he told uh, Google Assistant to remember, you have to just uh, give instructions to tell you what he told. So for example, I remember uh, I told Google Assistant to remember my passport number. So I'm going to ask uh, what is my passport number and let's see what happens. Okay, Google. What is my passport number? I remember you told me. My passport number 1234. Okay, thank you. Another way you can ask Google Assistant to remember, just give the full command. For example, without saying remember this, you can just tell uh, to remember something. So for example, I'm going to uh, tell Google Assistant that I put Chromebook in my second drawer. And let's see if it can remember. Okay, Google. Remember that I put my Chromebook in the second drawer. Okay, I'll remember that you said, I put my Chromebook in the second drawer. So now, I'll ask Google Assistant to remember where is my Chromebook. Okay, Google. Where is my Chromebook? I remember you told me. I put my Chromebook in the second drawer. Okay, thank you. If you do not remember what you told Google Assistant to remember, then you can just tell uh, to remember everything and then it will start just giving me a list of everything you asked a Google Assistant to remember. So for example, uh, I'll ask Google Assistant what I told uh, Google Assistant to remember. Okay Google. What did I tell you to remember? Here's what you told me. First, remember that I put my Chromebook in the second drawer. Second, remember my passport number 1234. You can also tell Google assistant to take a note and just to give uh, things you'd like to remember. So for example, uh, let's see if I'd like to remember that my Chromebook is, is in the second drawer, then I can just tell Google Assistant the same thing, but instead of remember, I take, uh, I use the word note. So let's try that. Okay, Google. Take a note. Sure, what's the note? My Chromebook is in the second drawer. Okay, saving your note. By the way, you can check your notes anytime. Just ask, what are my notes? Quote. Thank you. Wow, it's not for nothing they say Canadians are polite. Okay, so now Google Assistant already mentioned that, you know, you can just ask to uh, describe the notes and it will just, you know, tell you what notes you have. But if you don't want to go through all notes, then you can just mention that uh, what uh, Google Assistant has about your Chromebook notes. So let's try that. Okay, Google. What do you have for my Chromebook note? I remember you told me. I put my Chromebook in the second drawer. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it's pretty much the same whether you use the word remember or note. So it just like, you know, it works both ways, but when you want to delete uh, the note or 
what you told Google Assistant to remember, then the problem is you cannot re uh, delete it using a voice commands. You have to go to the website and then you have to delete it manually. So that's something uh, Google uh, should improve and I'm hoping that you know in the future you'll be able to delete uh, by voice command. So for example, I'll say uh, to delete my note and you'll see that you know Google Assistant doesn't know what to do. Okay Google? Delete my Chromebook note. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that, but my team is helping me learn. So you can see that, you know, it, it doesn't have that uh, feature yet that you can just delete by using your voice. So if you'd like to uh, delete uh, notes or uh, remember what you told the Google Assistant to remember, then you have to go to google.com slash my activities and then you have to delete that specific note or what you told uh, Google Assistant to remember. The problem with this, with that, let's say if you uh, told uh, something a month ago or six months ago or asked something to remember, uh, many months ago, then you're going to have to go through all the activities to find that specific activity and then you can delete it. So this is something hopefully will, uh, you know, it will not be this way, but uh, for now you have to delete it manually by going to google.com slash my activities. So that's all for today. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.